Today's Lenten lunchtime lesson from Father Andrew, the Society of the Divine Compassion, is time and eternity. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. If we are not in eternity now, we never shall be. Time is the illusion. Eternity is the reality. The will of God is our sanctification, says St. Paul. God is love, says St. John. The will of love, then, is our sanctification. And love that is pure, time cannot touch. God does not make favorites, nor does he interfere with the laws of the universe for the private benefit of individuals. But it is his will that things and circumstances should become processes by which out of the stuff of ordinary humanity, saints are formed. It is not the will of God that because of bad drains, typhoid fever should become prevalent. But it is his will that doctor or priest should love patient or parishioner better than life. And so, if in going where love calls him, a man meets death, he need not think that it was God's will that he should die, but he may be sure that it was God's will that he should love and can know that death does not matter very much. The will of God did not interfere with the free will of any man who opposed himself to Christ, nor did that will make magical things happen to remove any of the pains and difficulties that beset him. But it was the will of God in the resurrection of our Lord, to make manifest the immortality of the divine love that had never for one moment wavered from its perfect end. In our own lives, many things may happen contrary to the will of God. But if we keep our wills in perfect union with his will, these alien things, like the instruments of the passion, become creative, ministering to the glory of God and the fulfillment of our own spiritual destiny.